Hi guys, John here with Music Greatness. Today we're looking at Beautiful by Snoop Dogg, starting with the main riff which sounds like this. So what you just heard there was the main riff and that's what's used in the intro, chorus and outro of this song. So anytime when there's no rapping. First of all, this song is in the key of D major. So that means we have an F sharp and a C sharp. However, we never actually get to playing a D major chord here. Instead, we use three other chords. So let's take a look. First of all, we have F sharp minor. So for the left hand that is F sharp, and then the right hand has F sharp, A and C sharp. So that's F sharp minor in root position, just like the next two chords. Next up we have a G major root position. G, left hand, and then G, B and D for the right hand. Finally, the only other chord you're going to need to learn for this song is E minor. So that's E for the left hand, E, G and B for the right hand. Now this song is very repetitive, so once you've got the rhythm in which we play these chords, you'll pretty much have the whole thing. I'm going to show you it with my left hand first of all, and I'm going to subdivide every beat into 16th notes. So that'll be 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. So the left hand has first of all 1 E and a 2 E and a 3. So let's break that down. First of all, we play on the third 16th note of the first beat, one E and A. Next, we play on the second 16th note of the second beat, so two E and A. And then finally, we land directly on beat three, three E and A. So that will be all together, one E and A, two E and A, three E and A. To finish off that bar, we have 4 E and A. So that's on beat 4, and then on the 2nd 16th note of beat 4, and on the 4th 16th note. So 4 E and A. Let's take a look at the whole bar all together. 1 E and A, 2 E and A, 3 E and A, 4 E and A. Now all we need to do is add the right hand chord with exactly the same rhythm. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. And I recommend playing that on repeat a few times. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. For the next bar, we're moving on to G major. The right hand will use exactly the same rhythm as before. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. However, the left hand is going to do something slightly different this time. We're going to go 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. So you see what was different here was that on beat 3, we go up to a B and hold it for the whole beat. And it's going to be a long note that's held all the way to the fourth beat, which will also be a long note. So all together, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. So that's the only slight rhythmic variation. This is also the only time the right and the left hand are doing something slightly different rhythmically. So let's break that down. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. And then for the next bar, we're back to the original rhythm with our E minor. So that will be 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. And this time we're going to play exactly the same thing for two bars. So that will be 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. So now that you've heard it all broken down, let's hear it one more time at full speed.
Alright guys, so that is all for the first part of this tutorial. If you'd like to check out the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com where we'll be looking at the verse, which is all the parts where Snoop Dogg is rapping. If you've got any questions, please let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.